Oh no, not you again. I'm you. I'm future you. From the future. Yeah, I know who you are. Can you stop with the stupid voice? What do you want? Just keeping an eye on things? Don't you understand how weird this is? Me seeing future me? Don't you have better things to do? Don't you have any friends? Do you? Well, no, not at the moment, but I'm hoping to get some in the future. Well, you don't, so here I am. It is not good to have you around. You're like that one dickhead that everyone hates, who spoils movies and TV shows, except your spoilers are about my life. They're literally life spoilers. Do you understand how annoying that is? <sighs> what are you playing anyway? This, my friend, is your new favourite fighting game. Dragon Ball Fighters. It, it's a new game. Yeah, I know what Dragon Ball Fighters is. How are you playing it now? Ah, I brought it back from the future using technology that you would not- It's the beta, isn't it? Yes. Look man, Street Fighter's always been my number one. Uh, it's actually possible to enjoy more than one fighting game. You're gonna love this. Don't tell me what I'm gonna love. I don't even know Dragon Ball that well. Uh, you will. What? I said, you will. I mean, you catch my drift? Can you stop with the life spoilers, please? The first time you play the beta, you have so much fun, you play it for 12 hours straight. That's another spoiler. You enjoy it so much, you end up watching Dragon Ball Z Kai. That's another spoiler. I can't take this anymore. Uh, what are you doing? Are, are you all right? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Born Free here. I'm extremely tired because I stayed up all night making that skit. If you thought it was garbage, I do apologize. If you thought it was good, there's gonna be a five minute version coming out later on this afternoon, like an extended director's cut or whatever, I don't know. I just shot a lot of stuff, basically. I wanna talk about Dragon Ball Fighters. I never thought I would be making this video or be as interested as I am in this game. And I gotta say, I'm more excited for this than I have been for any fighting game for like 10 years. I think Street Fighter 4 came out in 2008 and this, the calibre of this game, the way it's looking, I'm so excited and having played it, wow. And I didn't even grow up with Dragon Ball. But let me talk about sort of like my five reasons why I am excited about this game. And it's not just because of the game, it's the repercussions it has on the rest of the fighting game genre and the FGC and potentially and potentially esports as well, right? So number one is unification, right? I think this game has the opportunity to unite the FGC. Generally speaking, fighting games are franchises which go back, you know, 20 or 30 years. And this is a competitive fighting game made from a franchise which has been around for 40 odd years. So people are emotionally attached to it from all over the place. It's huge, right? But this is the first time it's had like a decent competitive fighting game that can be part of the FGC. And so you've got all these people from Smash, Tekken, NRS games, Capcom games, you know, Arxis games, you name it, Skullgirls, whatever, who want to play this game. And that's really exciting to me. That This rarely happens and it's an amazing opportunity for people to come together. So I'm very, very excited about that. Second one is growth, right? Growth, the FGC. There's gonna be a lot of new players coming in. And I think it's up to us to invite them in because that's good for us. The growth of the FGC is good for us. Anybody who wants to work in and around the FGC, I'm telling you, the growth of the FGC is good for you, right? Uh, people who watch fighting games, people who want to attend tournaments, the more it grows, the bigger it gets, the more opportunities you will have to be involved, to go, to spectate, to do what you want, right? So, I'm hoping that we can help those new players, help manage their expectations, because they need to know up front that it's not going to be easy. And we've already seen people who love Dragon Ball 
come play this game and comment and say, oh my god, this is garbage, I can't believe it, blah 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 blah, because it doesn't operate like some of the previous games, it operates like a, a real fighting game, which requires, um, you know, hard work, and uh, but it's very fulfilling, and particularly this one, because it's a lot of fun. So I'm hoping we can work on those people. Third one is the standard that it sets in the fighting game genre. Particularly for companies like Capcom, it's good, great to have competition for Capcom. They need it, they really do. They've, you know, I'm a Capcom fanboy, absolutely. I love Street Fighter, not gonna deny it. Uh, you know, obviously I can't, <laughs> look at all this stuff, right? But yeah, I felt very let down by Capcom, by the standard of, you know, the more recent games that they've been pushing out. Yeah, and it upsets me, and it obviously upsets a lot of people. And it sucks, and we only want them to do better. And we want them to be at this standard, right? This standard is ridiculous. It's crazy. I mean, there are some really good fighting game companies out there, um, but this, there's something really special about this. The, the you, you know, you must have seen all the stuff on Twitter where it showcases, you know, cutscenes next to the anime, and they're almost identical, and they're like Easter egg cutscenes, and, and uh, you know, a lot of the imagery and the move sets and all that sort of stuff is the same as the manga. And, the, you know, it's just, it's a beautiful looking game. It's a beautiful animated game. The, you know, sound effect, everything is top notch. I don't need to tell you that, right? So it is setting the standard. I hope that this game sells a hundred times more than it's forecast to sell. Because I want it to be a success. I want other companies to go, all right, yeah, that's where we need to be. Uh, and in particular, yeah, Capcom. I want Capcom to go, that's where we need to be. So I'm excited for the competition. Third thing is the potential for esports, right? The FGC is, you know, knocking on that door, but not sort of like a third, third tier or fourth tier or something like that, not big. Um, not certainly not the size of League of Legends, certainly not the size of Counter Strike, not filling out stadiums, uh, you know, like the Barclays Center, like Counter Strike does. It would be great if we can push and get bigger and bigger. Um, I, you know, obviously there's a whole bunch of conversations that go on in regards to like how do we retain our authenticity, how do we retain our character, how do we retain the FGC as they are, but we can still push out, get bigger. And um, that's good for, like I said, anybody who likes to, wants to be part of the FGC, likes to spectate the FGC. Um, so there's that. And I think this game has the potential to do that if uh, Arxis and Bandai Namco are interested in doing it. They've said they, you know, that first and foremost they're going to create and finish um, a competitive fighting game. And then they're going to start thinking about the potential for esports. So we'll see. But if they could do a pro tour, that'd be great. I have a funny feeling that even if they don't, um, there'll be a lot of people out there willing to try and make it happen uh, some way or another. And I think players genuinely want to play this game, regardless of the money. Like, they genuinely want to play it. And then the final thing is, the reason I'm excited, is fun. The fun factor. This game is fun. Super fun. Really easy to pick up and play. You can mash away and win games initially. Um, that's what I do. Super dashing and mashing and, you know, um, switching people in and out, characters in and out and assists and, uh, you know, just a lot of fun, fast paced. And then, you know, you'll hit a ceiling and that's when you have to do the work. But, you know, it's not like you're working with a, a game which feels, uh, you know, like there are issues uh, or it's it feels broken or, or whatever. I've not had that sense. If feels like there's a lot to explore and you know it's joyous so w what more could you ask for than you know to be doing hard work but to be like joyful um yeah i'm excited uh it, it is an understatement um yeah i mean i actually went back and i'm watching dragon ball z kai and um and then i'll watch dragon, dragon ball super and uh, I'm getting that emotional attachment for the characters as well. 
So, yeah. Uh, and that's basically what I wanted to say. Um, and then the main thing I guess I wanted to say, really, this is just a way of sort of saying, look, guys, there are going to be Dragon Ball Fighters videos on this channel. So, uh, if you're interested, subscribe. As I learn, I'll probably push out some uh, Let's Learn Dragon Ball Fighters videos because uh, that's one of the best ways for me to learn and I love creating content and helping beginners anyway so super excited about that uh, let me know in the comments which characters you're most excited for who your teams are going to be and why you know why I should steal them from you that would be awesome and please if you like the video please do leave a like because that helps immensely with the algorithm of YouTube and my channel and I want to say a big thank you to my patrons. Um, you guys are really awesome for supporting me. So that's it, guys. Peace out. See you next time.